this, it is this political settlement that is under threat by some recent developments in American higher education, resulting from ever-increasing dominance of markets, that, uh, that market thinking that uh, is destabilizing the long-established political settlement about the multiple roles and uses of the research universities. These developments, driven largely by neoliberal discourses of globalization and global com com competition, are exemplified in university governance, governance becoming increasingly corporatized and driven by commercial interests, with, and with the curriculum perhaps becoming more narrowly vocationalized than it has ever been before, uh, concerned more with instrumental knowledge than with its cultural and critical dimensions. This has happened within the context of a dramatic shift in the ways in which the state now appears to view its link to public research universities, placing greater emphasis on market dynamics, threatening the traditional link between the traditional purposes of research universities and the public good. Now, I want to say that American universities have always been interested in markets, and markets have always been uh, determinants of their success. But what has now appeared to happen is uh, that a market thinking is becoming, if you like, uh, uh, so dominant that it might be useful for us to speak of uh, a kind of market reductionism, where all aspects of reform are being framed and reframed within market thinking. Let me actually give you some examples of this very briefly before I close. I know that the time is two, three minutes, I guess. Um, let me actually sort of say, in terms of the, 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 how this market thinking has increasingly developed, uh, developed a tension that is reinforced by government, widely held ideological commitment to smaller government and user pay principles. The higher education is increasingly in danger of becoming a private good, serving the needs of individuals and their, uh, their, 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 their human capital, and less a public or social good. With declining funds from the state, universities are, have been required students to pay more of the cost of their education, changing the nature of the relationship between the university and students, encouraging, to, encouraging students to think of themselves as clients or customers who participate in an economic exchange for specifiable and job-related outcomes. Now, the traditional focus of the pragmatic kind, the political settlement between vocational education and academic education, or if you like, a critical education, is now breaking down. Market cons considerations have also become relevant to the importance attached to the discipline, with disciplines considered commercially useful like applied sciences, information technology and business studies, sidelining disciplines of the traditional humanities and sciences. Uh, so there are changes in relation to curriculum, there are changes in relation to governance, there are in changes in relation to the relationship between the university and its community, and there are changes in relation to the university and the state. Now all this, I think, is actually creating a very different kind of context in which it might be possible to sustain the political settlement that I think accounts for the historical strength of American universities. So as other countries look to the United States, I think they need to be mindful of the fact that the distinction needs to be drawn between the traditional historical strengths of uh, American universities and those practices that are now emerging, which uh, are driven by a whole range of economic and political American education is, like most other educational systems, uh, is at, at, at a crossroad. Uh, it is having to decide as to where it might go in terms of the new considerations of the way knowledge is produced and also the kind of social, economic, and political relations that knowledge has and knowledge production has to the state, the communities, and to society at large is now having to be retort within the American institution. But I think American universities would benefit greatly if uh, this rethinking was done within a global context rather than a context which is specific
to the American uh, context, uh, in which uh, some of the principles of pragmatism uh, are nonetheless are, are, are preserved, and uh, uh, the historical strength of American universities uh, sustained in the context of the new settlements that are nonetheless needed. Thank you very much.